Hey glam lovers, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Baroness and today I'm going to do Betty Bangs and I'm going to show you how I trim them and cut them and upkeep them and give you some tips. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is a bottle of water. You can mix that if you want to do a little spray in there of anything floral, you could do that. Um, but basic water is good. And I got this bottle from Sally's and you spray and it just keeps spraying when you let go. So if you like that, it has a nice even spray. I recommend that. And then a good quality pair of scissors. Um, I do not believe in using craft scissors to cut your hair. I think it's your head and I think people see it and you want to do the best job possible. And you can buy a pair of these relatively inexpensively at any Sally's or Beauty Supply and um, you want good quality. So and then I got some Con Air combs, some straight combs just to comb things straight. And then of course we have a little Con Air flat iron. I want to get my bangs as straight as possible. Um, lots of people like to curl them under when they style it, but for cutting them, I like to have them as straight as possible, no wave or curl in the bang if I can avoid it. Sometimes it's there, if you have wavy or curly hair, you'll understand. It has a mind of its own. And I've already sectioned off what I have here for my Betty Bangs. You're all going to go back further. A lot of people will do the bangs here, and they actually need to be full and a little further back to have that retro edge. The only thing I don't do different is Betty Bangs usually overlap across your, your hairline. I don't do that because I don't think it suits my face and it's just a bit too much bang for my small face. So you want to add your own little tweaks and tailor your bang to your face and your face shape so that you don't look ridiculous, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, just a little tip. So these are pretty straight. Um, I have done previous Betty Bang haircutting videos and I always talk about how for wavy curly hair not to wet the bang. And one of the reasons why is for wavy curly hair it'll spring up and so you'll cut it and then it'll either be too short or you'll be cutting it crooked because it's got kink in it. So a lot of the time when you have hair with movement you want to trim your bangs so either it flows with the curl if you have say a cowlick or something and you can't control it or um, you want to cut it as clean as possible because right now my bangs are really heavy so there's a lot of thickness in there. If it was just a little trim it would be no big deal. So once again I'm just going to make sure I have, this is my troubled side, so I'm going to make sure that it's straight as possible and look at your hair and see if it's straight. You can see if it's got movement in it and if, if it does you're going to know not to cut it too much but leave it a little bit. Like after you, I should have started with this, but initially you need to blow dry and use a round brush to get your bang as straight as possible when you're straightening or blow drying it for wavy curly hair. And the reason why is it'll help give it volume, but it'll also give a nice flat bang. And then I go in with a small little mini curling iron for my cuts and I straighten it as flat as possible and the blow drying will help. And you can see it's quite long. I like my bangs to be above my brows, and this has a lot of volume on it. I also, for the purpose of this video, will be using a towel in my lap, and I also put a robe on so that the hairs don't get all over my shoulders and arms, and you may want to do the same. These little hairs are everywhere, and what happens is they itch and they get in your makeup. So I also have a barber's brush. So I also got this at a beauty supply, it cost a couple bucks. And the bristles on this are dry and they're really great for getting rid of little tiny hairs. And I'll be showing you how I go in with my close-up mirror to get rid of all that. If you're like me, you always forget to trim your bangs and you already have taken your shower and done your makeup. And if you go to a hairstylist, it's great to have one of these. I'm amazed at how many hairstylists, one, can't cut my bangs, and two, don't have any kind of brush for brushing away hairs off the face for bangs. I am amazed. I usually carry just a simple makeup brush. But I found this to be much better because I have a lot more hair and this is just like awesome. So this is another great tip. Get yourself one of these barber brushes. 
Okay, so I have gone ahead and clipped back my hair. I've just blown dry it so it's a little frizzy. And I combed and just made these as, pat as flat as possible. So we're gonna go in. I'm gonna use, I have another mirror in front of me. And I can see that it's really uneven and when my bangs grow out, they usually grow longer on one side than the other. So I'm gonna go in and create my shape. I want it to go up. And I know I want it a little shorter so my bangs show. So I'm gonna gently cut. And if you're not sure, I'm gonna go up to create that rounded shape. I don't like the straight across. But I feel like the Betty Bang is more rounded. And you can see all the hairs on my face. So I'm just gonna gently brush into the towel that I have. And then we'll go in at the end and get rid of all the hairs, even though I have makeup on. It's always good not to put lipstick on. But for purposes of this video, I made sure I had some on for you guys. And we'll clean that up too. So there's still gonna be hair on me as I do this video until we get to the end. All right, and then go back in and just comb them straight and you can see all the loose ends. Now in my previous videos, I talk about splitting the bang and basically trimming in two layers to make it easier. So the initial weight I got off and then, excuse the grays, um, I'm gonna go in, split the layers and just fine tune it a little. I can see it's a little longer on this side, so I'm gonna trim up. And then that's kind of going to be my guideline for the rest of my hair. And you can see how like the hair gets everywhere. Okay, so then we're going to flip this down. You can even um, do a little of this just to make sure. And you don't have to worry about it too much because really it's just a guideline and you're going to trim it if there is any extra with the second top of layer. So I have just a touch. I'm gonna round that out. That's my trouble area. So now I'm gonna let this go. Comb this on top. And you can see how it's hanging over. So you're gonna just follow that line and you can see how uneven it is. And I'm just cutting in small amounts. And I'm doing it in short sections so that it's more accurate. And I can match it. And you can see how it just got all those little tiny ends. I'm going to lift that and just... Normally I would do this um, over a sink and before I shower, but sometimes you just got to do it. You get hairs on your lips if you have lipstick, so you probably don't want to be wearing lipstick like me. But like I said, I was pretty for the video for you guys. Okay, so you can see that gave me a rounded shape, and you can just go in there and tweak. I've got a few more hairs there that are just not right. And one reason why I put my hair down and I just clip these back is because if you put it in a dun bun or a high ponytail when you do this, it's really easy to grab your bangs and have them in here. And the next thing you know is when you go to cut your bangs and then you put your hair down, you have big pieces and chunks and it's just more work. So I just thought this was easier. Hey lovers, so I just thought I would speed this up so you aren't watching me trim trim bangs, but as you can see, I'm going in and I keep working on making that rounded shape. And it kind of helps to have the bottom layer cut because it lifts it a little bit. And then we're gonna angle up and just keep rounding it. And because it's wavy curly hair, I'm not gonna go too short. As you can see, it's to the tips of my eyebrows and that can easily shrink up if I curl under or if I let it go a little more wavy. So I'm just gonna keep fine tuning it. And those little hairs, what a nightmare. So that brush is totally gonna help you. It's just a little shaving brush that you can find anywhere. And I'm gonna spray with some water and this is gonna drop the hair even more, but I'm not making the, water, the hair super wet. That's one big difference in this video. As you can see, I cut dry and then I wet it to let it drop a little bit more and just kind of smooth out that shape. And that helps get the weight out. It helps get all those fine little hairs out without making your hair super wet because it's very easy to cut your hair too short if it's wavy or curly because it shrinks up and with bangs, so you want to make sure you get it where you want it, but you still get all that hair and weight out. 
and you can see it's getting straighter, so that's gonna help get those waves out. But I'm not too anal about getting it super straight because I know it's just gonna naturally bounce up, so I'm still working with my natural shape. Just getting that hair out, it gets everywhere. Okay, so I've gone in with this, the close-up mirror, and with the close-up mirror, you can really get rid of all those hairs. So it's really helpful, and I wish they had them in hair salons, but like, you would be surprised how many times you'll walk out with hair all over your face, like on your eyelashes and stuff. So bring a close-up mirror with you, a little compact one you can get off Amazon. So now I'm gonna go in and let's straighten the hair and finish off this look. I hope you liked the bangs and the way I cut them. I did it different because I added more water in versus what I usually do in my other videos. And I will watch to the end, I will link the previous video where I show you step by step and in detail how to cut these bangs for wavy and curly hair. And this method works for any type of hair. It's just that if your hair is thin, um, you don't have as much thickness in the front of your bang and it can be more sparse. So a medium weight hair to heavy is really ideal for this. And I'll just keep fine tuning. Sometimes I'll leave it and the next day trim it again just so the hair has a chance to relax and I can restyle it. And so I'm just curling under with my little Conair and you can see that just gives it that little Betty bump. And you just can keep tweaking. I mean, it's up to you how you wanna do this. Um, you can leave it for a day in case you're worried you're gonna cut too much hair off. This is my wide flat iron. I love this thing. I take sections and then I blend them by taking larger sections. See, as you can see, I can just grab a whole panel and just smooth this out. I put it on the highest heat and I just keep going. Um, I've split it in two so that I can do the bottom layer first and then the top. And I also split it from the back. And that allows me just, it's easier to work in with your hair in four sections, especially if it's long or if it's thick. So this does a great job of just smoothing out the hair quickly and I highly recommend a flat wide panel if you want a straight haired look. It's just a lot faster than those little ones. And now we're going to go in and do the top. I love to pull the hair forward. It frames the face and I find it just looks a lot better. So as I'm ironing, I'm taking sections, then I'm blending sections and I'm pulling that front pieces forward so it creates a shape. And I just love it with the straight hair look. And I'll just keep going all the way around with that. It doesn't take very long. I just wanted to speed this video up so you weren't watching me like just forever straightening and trimming hair. So I hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you do. And um, also click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. I do vintage glamour inspired hair, makeup. I show my photography and my jewelry. And it's all about creating your own unique look and putting that twist and taking vintage and making it modern to represent who you are. So I love to do a little height in the back, and that just gives it a little pop. My part's not super straight, but I'm not worried about that. This video is about showing you how I trim and cut Betty Bangs for curly and wavy hair. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.